Second episode of Road to Steam. If you've missed what this series is about, uh, never mind. I'm just trying to set up my game to make a trailer and put it on Steam. In the first episode, we've seen some stuff like this placing thing, some really good wind animations, a big climate sensor boy, and, and some other stuff. Well, in this new episode, among with other things, we're gonna finally see the first creature of the game. So, without further ado, let's start with this episode. Okay, in the last few days, I've been focusing on variety. In my opinion, that's what makes an environment look good. Uh, along with details. So, starting with Flora, I modeled some trees, some red birch trees. Never seen them before. I made some variants in size. I picked a nice palette of colors because I'm too dumb to come up with mine. And as for the other trees, I added some animations and leaf particles for windy islands. Uh, if I use my pearly noise generator, I can have some forests spread all over the islands, which is kind of cool. But if you've been careful enough and you're not just watching this video because my mom told you to, you might have thought, what the hell? The, the leaves particles are moving against the wind in completely different directions, <laughs> which is quite weird. So I think I have to take care of it. I mean, it's noticeable. Uh, and I had to fix it, which is, after all, not that difficult. After some little ignorable issues, uh, I finally did it. Okay, very quickly, before moving on the creature, I want to answer to a question that many of you asked me. What about grass? Well, uh, since I have a low poly style graphic, going for this classic way of doing grass to me doesn't sound like the best option. But that's a personal opinion, of course. So what I'm going for is texturizing with a green color the islands that are supposed to have grass on, uh, of course just on top, and add some bushes here and there. Many games do this way, it's nothing new, and to me it looks better than the other way. And more important, it's simple to achieve. All right, time for the creature. First thing first, I'm gonna show you where this idea comes from. I started from this concept for a small innocent creature, uh, then I came across into another one, maybe less innocent, and I decided to merge them together. And this is what I got. Now this creature will move this way, it's gonna go forward, uh, kinda falling because of the gravity, and from time to time it will, let's say, jump, so it doesn't fall forever. The modeling part was not too difficult, which was surprising considering my modeling skills, but I definitely got some more problems with <laughs> animations. I become very talented when it comes to make bad animations. Eventually, after a few attempts and more time than I'd like to admit, I came up with this new animation, which is not the best in the world for sure, but if you close both of your eyes, I think it might look good. And this is the movement that I was talking about. You see, like, the animation starts, and after a little bit of delay, it started moving. Well, I'd say everything is set up. Uh, it's time to move to Unity, color this guy, make a simple script. Uh, I called it Onion Creature because I don't have a name yet. And after that, the creature was finally ready to fly. And die, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> okay, definitely applied too much force. So simple to fix. It should be fine now. So this is it. It won't be an hostile creature. It won't attack you. Uh, it will be probably harvestable, uh, like you can get inside, use a knife and stuff. And it might also drop something from here. Okay, that was the first creature of the game. Uh, I don't really know the exact size of it, but I think it will be pretty big because uh, it's kind of detailed. If I'm planning on making some baby versions of it, I'd have to decrease the level of details by a lot. But that would be cool, like imagine having a mom with two or three babies behind her. Tell oh, that's cute. Anyway, uh, you can find them with uh, some companions, or two or three or more, you know, like a little family. Sometimes the family might be a little bit extended, but you should not worry about them. They're quiet, they, they're nice guy, they won't bother you. Maybe they will bother your CPU though. <laughs> now, I mean, I, I, won't, I didn't like really optimize them yet because it's just for the trailer, you know, I don't really have to make everything perfect, but I will as soon as possible. Anyway, we're done for this second devlog uh, of Road to Steam. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.